What's up, everybody? It's Joneser, your favorite comic book guy. So let's do this. All right, as you can see here, we got a clawful here from the latest Masters of the Universe Origins wave. I got a hot tip the other night that he was going to be available online at Target, and I jumped right on it and got one. Um, you also could have gotten uh, Anti-Eternia He-Man, and I think at the time of recording this video, um, he is still up on Target's website, Anti-Eternia He-Man, if you guys are interested. Um, Honestly, uh, I'm not interested in Anti-Eternia He-Man, and they've been doing pre-orders for Sun Man, and I have zero interest in Sun Man. Sun Man has nothing to do with Masters of the Universe, and just doesn't appeal to me. So anyways, digging right into Clawful here. Um, I'm super excited. Clawful is a favorite of mine growing up. Um, I have to say, uh, from an early age, there was an episode of the original Filmation show. I believe the episode is, um, oh, Jesus, not coming to me, uh, The Witch and the Warrior. And uh, Clawful is featured, and there's a moment in the episode where Clawful kind of comes up from underground and gets the better of He-Man. And uh, I never forgot that as a child because... Um, you know, you didn't see anybody out physical He-Man or He-Man even be put in much peril in that show. And I, I never forgot that Clawful was uh, one of the few that had done it. But uh, anyway, we'll get to the front of this package here. And boy, he just looks great. Um, Clawful, warrior with the grip of evil. Make his dreadful claw grab and hold. You know, I really can't wait to see uh, how this thing works or if it works much like my vintage one, which we will do a comparison of later. Um... Just first impressions and looking at the package, it does look like there's a little bit of paint slop on mine at the mouth, which, you know, not a deal breaker, but uh, I, I would have preferred it not to have been there. But um, man, he just looks awesome. You know, so we'll flip this package around here and uh, on the back, you know, I mean, this artwork just pops, you know, I mean, here we got Clawful swinging his deadly claw into Tila, who's, you know, looking like she's in big trouble. and. And look at there, we got Whiplash in the background, you know, and I really hope we uh, we get Whiplash here in the future as we've got the parts, we've got the feet, and we've got the body from Buzz Off there, and, you know, all we need is the little lizard tail and the head, and you pretty much got yourself a Whiplash. Um, looks like the uh, background there is kind of like what it looked like they did with the 2000X series of where Clawful came from. Um, yeah, this artwork really kills. Uh... Clawful's crushing brutality and cunning intellect makes him one of He-Man's more vicious enemies. Um, that was another thing, too. Like, when they did him in 2000X, it kind of made him a numbskull or a bit of an idiot. And I didn't really like that. I really liked Clawful kind of more portrayed as mean, you know. And uh, in the uh, mini-comics, you know, he came off as brutal and mean. And, and in the um, Filmation show, even though he looked quite a bit different, he was still, you know intelligent and mean and i really thought they did him a disservice in 2000x kind of dumbing him down they, you know they kind of did the same with whiplash they just kind of made him big and dumb and generic and you know i didn't i didn't care for that but anyways uh scrolling down on the back of this box it looks like we got the action features which looks like it works basically the same as i remember um you, you pull the lever and you make the claw grip um you pose them into different battle positions and he's got that mace weapon which I never understood why he needed it I mean his hands are his weapons he's clawful he doesn't need that thing but I guess you got to give him an accessory but and going over here to the um cross cell we've got uh you know Sun Man which I, I guess if you're into that um I do take a little umbrage of him walking into He-Man's turf and calling himself the greatest hero of them all I mean come on buddy I never even heard of you and uh then you got the Horde Trooper here, which I'm really excited. I've got two of them on order from Big Bad Toy, Toy Store. I wasn't quite quick enough to get one off target. Um, and Clawful, who I've got in my hand. And the Anti-Eternia He-Man, who I'm probably going to pass on. I mean, we've already kind of got a faker, a fake evil He-Man. I don't really see the need for two. He's not somebody I understand or know anything about. But uh, anyway, enough of my yapping. Let's get this guy out of the box. 
All right, there's our boy, the awful Clawful. Let's see if we can get him rolling here. Oh, yeah. Um, as you can see, he's out of the box, and he is looking schnazzy. Um, I really, 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 really dig this guy. Um, you know, and like I said, and you've seen in the pictures before, he's been presented in a lot of different ways. Um, with the red skin and, you know, different stuff. But I kind of like the, like, man lobster look here with the, like, you know, uh, human type skin with the lobster, uh, crab claws and face and armor and feet and whatnot i mean i think it gives him kind of a unique look all to himself and yes he comes with that green mace which you know is what it is um like i said before i, don't, I never thought clawful really needed a weapon i very rarely as a child when i played with him you ever used that i always thought his giant claw was the weapon you know and uh you know he he didn't need a weapon he was the weapon but um yeah, he, he looks great, yeah, and, and uh, probably my favorite of this uh, current wave. Um, I am excited to see the Horde Trooper, but um, while we got him out and spinning, we'll compare him to his uh, vintage brother here. Here is a vintage Clawful, which, um, you know, he's basically got the same look about him, you know, and it looks like the claw hand works the same way. You just activate this little thing you know pinch 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 um i do like that the origins is brighter like if you look at this guy's armor it looks kind of bland whereas the origins one it definitely pops a little more and uh you know the face sculpt here on the vintage he's got like the two fang teeth and you know on this uh origins one he's got a really great uh just mean looking look about him with the rows of teeth in the mouth and i just think that that is just awesome so um you know, and like before, I was uh, been experimenting with some stop motion here. So we're going to do a little stop motion with uh, Clawful and see what kind of fun we can have with him. <laughs> All right, that was uh, Clawful in six seconds of uh, stop motion articulation uh, animation. So... I hope you guys appreciate how much time that takes to do and how little I get of it at the end. But um, anyways, um, you know, going forward, obviously, as you can see, we got a whole bunch of toys left to do. As far as origins go, I've got Jitsu and the Green Goddess, who I've been holding on to for quite a while. We'll eventually get to them. And then um, as far as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we've got Raphael left to do. And then, as you can see, the Masterverse ones are starting to back up here. We've got to get to Faker, who I've been holding on to probably the longest. Um, and we've also got uh, Spike Orr and Andra. And I just recently got in the mail Fisto. And the uh, one I'm probably going to do next, Stinkor, because I've just been dying to get that guy out of the box. So um, more uh, toy reviews. Um, quite honestly, on the Joneser channel, we don't really do reviews as much as you just get kind of my uh, take on them. I don't get into things like the articulation or, you know, I mean, I, I guess we just uh, we do the toy and I tell you what I think. And uh you know, if you want to see how it moves or articulates, watch Pixel Damned. Till next time. Ha! All right! You're gonna get it!